going on guys welcome back to another video so I know you saw that you saw the thumbnail I'm sure you're wondering hmm what you talking about Willis well so a couple things here first off let's just uh, appreciate the look of this rammer how nice clean shiny actually you know what let's get her out in the Sun that will be the true test Cause everything kind of looks clean when you pull them in the garage because there's really no light no Sun hitting it so let's get the rammer out in the Sun real quick and uh, check her out First, give you guys a little cold start in this 80 uh, degree weather we got going on over here. Ooh, dog! Oh man, look at that thing. Now you get her in the sun. She's like a whole nother beast. Just that shine. It's got like that bling, that pop to it, you know? Whoa! But now let's get in the truck and talk about the changes we, uh, we might or might not make. Alright, tell me if you guys can hear that. And I'm only doing 70 miles an hour. Barely 70. So, the point of what I'm trying to make here, let's talk about changes. Changes I might, well one change, there's one thing I'm going to for sure change on the uh, Duramax, Duramax, on the Ram. Uh, sorry, sorry guys, sorry, I know I said Duramax. I still miss a Duramax, still a good truck. But, um, on the Rammer here, so I'm looking at some different tires. Now, not saying that these Toyo MTs are bad at all because they're great tires. Uh, but what what I've noticed is these Toyos seem like these mutters seem like they float a little bit. Now I've noticed when you break these in, they get a little a little better. Like a, the drivability gets a little better. I got like I think three like 3,400 miles on these things uh, since I put them in. And because I mark it on my phone exactly what I do, everything, the date, the mileage, everything. So I looked at it earlier, it was like 3412 exactly. Now, but one thing about these tires I notice is when you start getting up to like the uh, higher um, speed range, so like when you start going like 75, um, you know, 80, you can kind of sort of start hearing them. And you're probably wondering, Eddie, well, obviously, you know, it's a mutter, it's not a street tire, it's still a great tire, um, and, you know, I mean, you gotta expect that, and you're right, I did expect it, but I wanna try something different. A lot of you guys keep asking me, Eddie, have you tried the Nitto Ridge Grappler, I believe it's, or Terror, no, not the Terror Grappler, Ridge Grappler, and uh, I have not, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. Everybody talks very highly of that tire. Uh, the only downfall that I have heard about that tire is they don't last mileage-wise a lot. If you guys know me and have been watching this channel, uh, I usually keep my tires for like, you know, four or 5,000 miles and then get rid of them. Uh, not because, you know, I, I don't like them. I just, I like to try different tires. And I, I always end up going back to the MT. You know, I, I had the, uh, the Toyo the AT, I tried those, and then I went to the Toyo MT, then the Duramax, I went, I had the MT, then I went to the RTs, and then on this, I went back to the MT, so I eventually keep coming back to this MT, number one, the look, you guys know, the, the that MT looks very aggressive, like, oh, come here, let me, ah, I'll just destroy you, like, whatever gets in my way, I'm gonna crush you, you know, uh, besides, um, it's a nice Lamborghini, Besides um, the look of the tire, um, the quality, it's a good quality tire. You know, I've never had a problem with it. Uh, I pulled nails out before like this freaking deep and it's been great, you know, it hasn't, uh, didn't even go through. So I can't say it's a bad tire, can't talk bad about the tire. The only I can say is once they start wearing in, they start to, to you start hearing them a little bit. And the thing with this truck, this Ram, is this truck is so dang quiet inside that you can hear everything you know and and my Duramax was never this quiet you know even the old Duramax was never this quiet even the old Rams weren't this quiet I mean now with this motor like when you go when I went to go pick this thing up and uh, you know we started it up and actually when uh, D-Max Rhino came with me and I started it and we're listening to it and even Ryan was like Dude, is it, you sure this is a diesel you can't even hear it. it sounds like a gas engine up there um, how quiet these these diesels they've got them even with the Fords and the Fords I think I'm not sure I think the Fords are even quieter 
uh, if I recall. I'm not sure, but they are very, very quiet now. So the point of, of what I'm trying to make here is sometimes, well, a lot of times, my family comes with me to the desert all the time. Almost every single trip they come with me. And as you guys know, I got a new baby girl on the way. Now, my, my wife drives her Jeep out to the desert, and I don't even feel comfortable with that Jeep with her putting my son in it. Uh, just because that, you know, I don't know if you guys, people out there that have driven a Jeep, man, you know what I'm talking about. These Jeeps are, and we're not going fast, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour, but, you know, that Jeep, if you try to make like a quick turn, the whole thing is like, I don't know how to explain it, but when you drive it, you're just like, whoa, like, this is scary to drive, you know? So, my daughter is mainly going to be with me in the back. Another, there's, now here comes change number two. So, the tires. Eh, it's not really because of the daughter. It's mainly because I want to try something new. Number two is mainly the daughter because I'm worried about her ears. So I am thinking, guys, and let me know if you guys uh, have a Cummins with a muffler on it. Now, calm down before you go crazy. I know I said muffler. Ah, what do you mean muffler? Muffler? Yes, guys, I said muffler. So I'm thinking about putting a muffler on this thing. This is the only reason is because when I am towing, this thing gets so loud. You guys remember when my dad drove it, he was like, what the hell? Like, we couldn't even talk to each other. When you get up to that like higher RPM range, this thing screams. And if you guys out there know with a five, or with a uh, um, Cummins with a five inch straight pipe, you guys know how loud these things are when you get up to that RPM range. And you know how bad the drone is. I mean, I'm like, you can hear it in your ears and it like shakes your body in this truck. So I worry about her having her in the back and heading out to the desert because she's gonna be born in like, you know, a week, less than a week. She's gonna about to pop out here soon. So I gotta start prepping for desert because we're in August. So we only got like two, three months really. And end of, usually end of October is the first uh, desert trip. So I worry about her ears because of how loud it gets in here. Now, you know, I don't, I don't know baby their ears. I don't know how sensitive they are. But I do know when I had my son, they constantly were checking his ears and told me that the baby's ears are sensitive, you know, of loud noises. Now, I don't know if loud noise sounds like a big train horn going off or what, but I'd rather, um, you know, play it safe. Well, let, me, let me block this call one second here. I'm going to call you back. But I'd rather play it safe uh, and, you know, put a muffler uh, on it. And let me know if you guys have a Ram with a 5-inch, does the muffler fix it? You know, did it quiet it up, but put a muffler, the quick disconnect muffler, um, where it's just a five inch and it's just got clamps. So I'll take that pipe, that section out, put a muffler, and then once, you know, I am done, uh, I can slap another uh, straight pipe on her. I'm not, not done, but once she's older and can tolerate it a little more, slap a uh, pipe on it. You know, so I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think on this whole muffler theory, but tires. Uh, I think, guys, we are switching tires. We're going to head um, with the Ridge Grappler tires in Ditto. Let me know. Comment down below. But a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, how does this thing do fuel mileage-wise? So when I'm not towing, guys, this really, the little, you know, average Chingus right there stays at 15.2 to 15.6. Uh, that's where it fluctuates mainly. And I usually cruise 70, 75. Um, so nothing crazy. Now... I know uh, when I get the new tires, we will uh, compare the fuel mileage because I know this thing is never gets pretty much past like 15.6, 15.7 max. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say, oh no, it's way better fuel mileage, yada yada with these tires. I don't know. Like I said, I am not going to get them for the, um, the fuel mileage. I want to get them for to see if they're supposedly a little quiet. I mean, listen, you hear this humming? Listen. You hear that? So I'm trying to get rid of that noise, but I couldn't find a tire that was, you know, that looked this good, but with no noise. Now these tires supposedly look good and have no noise, so we'll see. So now your next question is going to be, well, Eddie, what you doing with the old tires? Yes, guys, they're for sale. So if you're interested in some 37, 1320s Toyo, open country i'll show you the size right there i don't know if you can see that 37 13 50 20. they have uh well you can see the tread i don't know if i can 
There you go. They're, they're pretty much still brand new. They got like, I don't know, 40, I think it was 40. I got to check my notes, but you still got a nice chunk there. They got about 42 left on them, or 42 I think I've driven on them. And here is the, uh, the booty end of it. Same thing. They're still fresh. So if you guys are interested, you can DM me at Eddie's Life on my Instagram. And, uh, well, you guys know how much they are, so don't tell me uh, I'll give you 500 bucks. Because if you do and you don't hear me answer, well, that's probably why. Also, guys, I still have the 35, 12, 50, uh, 17 Toyo, the empties right out there. If you're interested, uh, those, yeah, you can have for like, I don't know, 400 bucks. Because they only have like 30% tread left on those. Uh, so those aren't brand new like these 37s. So that's all I got for you guys. Comment down below. I'm curious what do you think of those tires and what do you think about throwing a muffler on this thing? And any of my subscribers out there have this truck with a muffler? Does it make a big difference? Does it make it really quiet? Does it get rid of the drone? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. So thank you guys for watching the video. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.